Well, flying through the air, fire shooting across the stage, and giant animatronic dragons. That's all part of How to Train Your Dragon, the Life Live Spectacular. It's based on the hit DreamWorks movie. And we welcome to the studio the actor who plays the lead character, Hiccup. Well, the actor's name is Riley Miner, and he, he, he's here. And you're all, I, we noticed that you're all dressed up in the costume of the day. Yep. They uh -huh. check this out to you, apparently, to wear out to Denny's or wherever you want to wear it. Yeah, yeah, you know, just <laughs> when I want to, you know, be Hiccup. <laughs> hiccup. And you are Hiccup. Tell yeah. us a little bit how that is. You had, a, obviously, uh, the opportunity to be able to watch the movie first before you played the character. That's kind of a, a benefit, right? Yeah, it actually was a funny story. Um, I took my brother and sister to see it when it was in the movie theaters, like, before I even knew about this job. Um, I took him there as a uh, thank you to my mom. My mom did something for me, so I took my brother and sister. I was like, oh, I have to go see this children's movie with my brother and sister. <laughs> and I went, and I, I loved the movie, and I was like, oh, this is great. I, I love this. And then when the audition came up, I was like, well, I have to go. I, I would love to play a um, hiccup in the How to Train Your Dragon Live Spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> lots of acrobats, though. Lots of, lots of acrobatics, I should say. Yeah. There, there's a lot of moving around. And as we'll show you with, with the uh, video that we're about to run, a, a lot of different uh, movements. And this is the stage show here, not the movie. And just look at the visuals here. And yeah. you folks are uh, moving around quite a bit. Um, what's it like mo having to deal with or have opposite you an actual huge animatronic dragon? I mean, it's actually a lot easier than a lot of people would, a lot of people would think. You know, um, one of the famous don't things, tell us that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> one of the famous things we say as actors is, you know, you don't work with animals or children. Right. right. But um, they're actually almost nothing like animals. It's almost like working with another adult because they're live puppeteered every night. Sure. So behind is behind this puppet is someone that I know. You know, one of my friends who I've come to you know love over the course of the tour, and and it's just them being you know toothless or whoever I'm you know opposite, and it's just so much fun to play with them. I just get to play with my pet dragon. You know? <laughs> As an actor, this must come with challenges, A, working in a uh, in front of a live audience. There's yeah. no retakes, there's nothing like that. What, no, no. Do you like the benefit of that better? or? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm, I've mostly stuck to live performing for most of my career. I've mm. done a little bit of, you know, behind camera, but most of it has been live, and I've, I've always loved live theater. It's always wonderful to get the energy from the audience, especially in this show, because we have, you know, 5,000, 6,000 people in the audience that are giving all their energy back to you while, you know, you're flying over the arena. It's, it's an amazing feeling. It's exhilarating. Well, and, and, and touched on a good point, too. That not only is this a live show, but this is different than just the proscenium yeah. of a stage where you're playing to 1,700 people in front of you. Yeah. These are in arenas where you have people all around you. This is like playing in the Coliseum. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's unlike anything I've ever done before, really. Um, it's perform in arenas in like a live show sort of sense. Um, it, it's just it's something, a challenge that I worked with the director on quite a bit and um, working with playing to, you know, all the all the different audience this is on every single side and angle. Tell, mm -hmm. tell, speaking of that, how are these dragons? T do, can you describe what it is to work with these dragons and, and describe the dragons themselves? A lot of kids don't know about the show yet. I mean, the dragons are incredible. The, the machinery behind them and the technology behind them makes them so real and so lifelike. They're, it's just like they're right there in front of you. And I mean, some of them are fi have like 50 feet long wingspans. One of them is the size, just his head and neck are the size of a blue whale. They're, they're <laughs> massive and they're, and they're all live puppeteered every single night and and I get to you know play with play with them on the stage and enact with them and it's just been an incredible experience and while you're doing that you have these these huge dragons in front of you and you, you may hear an audience member behind you yeah. s react yeah can you react to the audience member behind yeah you? I mean that's the, one of the wonderful things about our show is that we're really interactive with the audience you know we bring them into the story you know we constantly ask them you know how they're doing and and you know we I constantly you know make sarcastic remarks to the audience and stuff like that so there's a lot of bringing them in to the story with us you know not just performing on stage and for those who don't know can you tell us a little bit about what's the story between hiccup and toothless um it's a well it's it's a it's a story of a, a you know a, a wonderful friendship of two people that are very different and in different worlds and you know the people in both of those worlds don't see the other world is, you know, a, a good place, you know, it's always, you know, they're bad, this is bad, you know, you have to be like this, you know, and, and, you know, he decides to, you know, go against that. He realizes he can't, you know, kill the dragon. He decides to be friended instead, and it's one of the best decisions he makes. And you get to ride around. Well, we're, congratulations to you, what a great thing, and now you get to bring your brother and sister again, right? Yeah, yeah, I will. I'll take them to see the show. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> again, it's at the Honda Center, January 17th through the 20th. Again, yep. the Honda Center, January 17th. Riley Minor, thanks very much. Congratulations to you. Of course. And uh, uh, congratulations to Hiccup and Toothless, too. Oh, right. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, of course. We'll, we'll see you then. It looks right. like a good show. Thanks a lot. Okay. One.